पाजी यार थोड़ी एक्साइटमेंट दिखाओ सही में कुछ चमत्कार हुआ है हमारे साथ इसी द मोस्ट हाइपर लेट बैक गाय David 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 we need to do this we need to do that we need to do this we need to do that On GK meets GT I have a very special guest mere favorite hai ye mujhe bada maza aata hai ये जब मारते हैं जब कैच पकड़ते हैं जब बॉल डालते हैं जब बातें करते हैं मुझे बड़ा मजा आता है इनका नाम है आइसमैन पंजाब में अलग होता है आइसमैन वो होता है जब आप ड्रिंक बनाओ तो बर्फ लेके आता है ठीक है पर क्रिकेट में अलग होता है आइसमैन आइसमैन वो होता है जिसकी रगो में ठंडा पानी चल रहा है खून में ठंडा पानी राहुल तेवतिया विद मी भाई आइसमैन पता है आपको नाम दिया किसने आपको नहीं पाजी गुजरात की बात हम करें अगर जी टी की बात करें जीटी की जो टीम थी जो पहला सीजन था हाँ जी ये ड्रीम सीजन पहले तो मुझे इस सीजन के बारे में अपने थॉट्स बताओ कि कि हाउ डू यू व्यू दैट सीजन अब थोड़ा जब समय हो गया है हाँ जी राइट तो अब आप लोग जब वापस देखते हैं कलेक्टिवली सब देखते हैं अकेले जब वापस देखते हैं उस सीजन पे तो क्या लगता है और अगर लास्ट सीजन की बात करें तो जब आई खत्म हुआ था फिर उसके बाद जब मैं सारा सीजन देख रहा था हमारा कैसा गया तो कई मैच में तो विश्वास ही नहीं हो रहा था कि हम कहां से कहां वो मैच जीते हैं yeah. दो बॉल दो छक्के चाहिए वो लग रहे हैं हमारे साठ पे चार हैं एक सौ अस्सी चेज कर रहे हैं वो चेज हो रहे हैं तो मतलब चार पांच मैच तो ऐसे देखे कि यार कहां से मतलब कैसे खुद विश्वास नहीं हो रहा था कि यार ये मैच कैसे जीत सकता है कोई अगर आप बाहर बैठ के अगर दूसरी टीम के हाईलाइट्स देख भी रहे हो या मैच देख रहे हो तो आपको खुद लगता है नहीं यार ये मैच तो हो गया नहीं जीत सकते पर वो जी टी के मैच देखो आप नहीं हो सकता नहीं हो गया फिर हो गया फिर हो गया फिर हो गया मतलब एक बार हो दो बार हो ठीक है ऑलमोस्ट सारे मैच के तो छह सात मैच ऐसे जीते हम yeah. मतलब अगर पूरा सीजन उठाओ और उसके बाद देखो कि यार सही में कुछ चमत्कार हुआ है हमारे साथ और इस टीम में वो बिलीव था ना शायद इसीलिए वो चीजें होती जा रही थी क्या ऐसे होता है आई लाइक दैट यू यूज द वर्ड चमत्कार क्योंकि स्पोर्ट uh, में ऐसा कभी कभी होता है कि ऐसी चीजें हो जाती है कि आपको समझ नहीं आती है कैसे हो गई हाँ right? तो इसलिए उसको चमत्कार कहते हैं हाँ पर मेरा ये भी मानना है कि चमत्कार तभी होता है जब बिलीफ होता है तो ये दोनों वर्ड आपने कहा ना कि चमत्कार और बिलीफ बिल्कुल पर एक बिलीफ होता है वहां पे और जिनमें बिलीफ होता है वही चमत्कार कर पाते बिल्कुल हंड्रेड परसेंट क्योंकि पाजी वो बिलीफ भी कैसे आता है आपके अंदर कि वो जो आप प्रैक्टिस करते हो वो जो प्रोसेस आप डे इन एंड डे आउट करते हो yeah. कितनी बार करते हो उसको रेपिटेशन कितनी बार करते हो उस सिचुएशन में पहले कितनी बार आ चुके होते हो अगर आप प्रैक्टिस में जैसे मैं हर जगह बोलता हूँ कि वो प्रैक्टिस में मैं वो चीजें रिपीट करता ही रहता हूँ कुछ कुछ नहीं है मतलब छोटी छोटी चीजें होती हैं पर वो जब उस सिचुएशन में आप मैच में आते हो तो आपको लगता है यार मैं इस सिचुएशन में पहले जा चुका हूँ मेरे लिए नई चीज नहीं है ठीक है मैं कोशिश करूंगा कि इस मैच को इस सिचुएशन में ऐसे खेलूं yeah. तो वो ज्यादा टफ नहीं लगता तो वो वो एक वर्ड जो आपने बोला बिली वो, वो बहुत जरूरी है वो तो जो फर्स्ट सीजन था उसमें इतने सारे मैच थे जब आप लोग को लग रहा था कि अब तुम पीछे रह गए हाँ जी ठीक है अब पीछे रह गए आप शायद इस मैच को नहीं जीत सकते राइट ऑब्वियसली आप हर बॉल पे जाते हैं बाहर जीतने के लिए हाँ जी। पर कभी कभी लग जाते हैं यार अब बहुत पीछे रह गए पहाड़ बड़ा ऊंचा हो गया इनमें से कौन सी विक्ट्री थी या कौन सी विन थी जब आपको सबसे ज्यादा लगा कि यार हम तो बहुत ही पीछे रह गए तो उस जीत में कुछ ज्यादा ही मिठास और ज्यादा ही मजा था भाजी जो गेम था सीएसके के अगेंस्ट जो डेविड मिलर और राशिद खान ने जिताया था काफी बड़ा स्कोर चेज कर रहे थे जब मैं बैटिंग करने गया था ऑलरेडी तभी कितने तेरह बारह बारह कुछ की रन रेट चाहिए थी फिर मैं भी अपना गंद मचा के आया आउट होके आया मैं बाहर <laughs> उसके बाद डेविड मिलर और राशिद खान खेल रहे थे नॉर्मल सा गेम चल रहा था फिर फिर डेविड मिलर एक बार शुरू हुआ तो हमें लगा चलो अभी एक ओवर में एक छक्का मारा दो मारे मारना शुरू हुआ तो हमें लगा यार अभी तो बहुत और रन कितने चाहिए और डेविड मिलर कितने बीस पच्चीस पे बैटिंग कर रहा था उस टाइम तो 
जब उसने एक बार मारना शुरू करा साइड से राशिद भाई शुरू हो गए अपने वो स्नेक शॉट जो मारते हैं इस साल तो मैंने बोला उन्हें कि राशिद भाई इस बार कोबरा शॉट चाहिए <laughs> स्नेक पिछले साल का ज्यादा डसना चाहिए हाँ ज्यादा डसना चाहिए तो फिर डेविड मिलर ऐसा मारता गया वो दिन ही ऐसा था पाजी उसने नाइनटी नाइनटी फाइव नॉट आउट बनाया यार और राशिद भाई ने जो मारे तो उस उस गेम में ऐसा लग रहा था कहीं ना कहीं हम बहुत पीछे रह गए पर वो भी हमने विनिंग साइड पर फिनिश करा गया ऐसे मैच जब जीतो तो फिर मैं हमें मेरा एक कॉन्सेप्ट है कि सम विन्स आर मोर देन अदर्स कि मतलब आप मैच तो जीत रहे हैं दो पॉइंट तो आपको मिल रहे हैं पर कई जीते जो होती हैं जब इतने पीछे से आते हैं या खुद बड़ी टीम को गिराते हैं या कोई ऐसी सिचुएशन उनमें दो पॉइंट तो मिले पर जो अंदर सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस को बूस्टर शॉट मिलता है और वो तो तो वो सी एस के का मैच था सी एस के का मैच था और उससे पहले जो पंजाब वाला मैच हुआ था जो पंजाब के अगेंस्ट खेल रहे थे सी सी आई पे तो शुभमन और वो हार्दिक बैटिंग ही ऐसी कर रहे थे हमें लगा यार अठारह ओवर में चेज हो जाएगा मैच उतारो बैट अपने बैठ हाँ बिल्कुल हम तो बैठे हुए थे आशी भाई कहते जरूरत नहीं आज बैठ जा आराम से <laughs> तो मैंने कहा चलो पैड पहन के बैठे हुए हैं तो फिर बीच में आके वो अर्शदीप ने एक दो ओवर ऐसे डाले मैच फंसा वहां से मुझे क्या पता था कि लास्ट दो बॉल पे दो छक्के वाली इनिंग आ जाएगी और वो ओडेन स्मिथ ने थ्रो भी फेंक दिया फिर वो जो उसने तो अगर लोगों को लोगों को याद ही होगा पर बताया उनको आई थिंक ओवर थ्रो हुआ था तीन बॉल पे तेरा चाहिए थे वो विकेट पे मार रहा था और मिस हो गया तो आप लोग भाग गए तो वो क्या मिलर था स्ट्राइक हाँ जी तो मिलर को मैंने क्या बोला था बाउंड्री पे बॉल जाएगी तो दो दो ट्राई करेंगे कि एटलीस्ट फिर लास्ट दो बॉल में अगर छक्का चौका भी लगता है तो टाई तो होगा मैच क्लोज जाएंगे तो मैं पहले थोड़ा पहले भाग गया मैं तो मिलर ने मारा और ओडेन स्मिथ के हाथ में सामने बॉल आ गई अगर वो भाग के भी लगा मैं तो भी आउट था तो उसने बॉल फेंकी हमारे पास चांस बढ़ गया तो मिलर आया वहां से मिलर कहता कि यू आर हिटिंग इट मैंने कहा हाँ मतलब सोच तो मैं भी यही रहूं ऑप्शन तो ही नहीं है ना कोई दो बॉल में दो छक्के तो मार नहीं है तो वो पहला लगा उसके बाद तो पहला बोला हाँ फिर क्या बोला फिर डेवी ने बोला कि अगला भी मार रहा है तू मतलब उसका बस यही था कि तू अगला भी छक्का ही मार रहा है मुझे तो मुझे भी यही था मारना तो छक्का ही पड़ेगा चौके से भी नहीं जीतेंगे तो पता नहीं कहीं ना कहीं वो एक प्री प्लान वाला जो शॉर्ट होता है वो शॉर्ट इंस्टिंक्ट आई कि यार ये तुझे ऑस्ट्रम के बाहर बॉल डालने वाला है तो क्यों ना तू शफल होके उधर जाके मार दे yeah. मैं और वो इतनी इतनी जल्दी जल्दी में हुआ ना टाइम कुछ भी नहीं बस मैं डेविल मिनर अपना ग्लव्स मिला के गए उधर इतने मैंने स्टांस लिया वो भागने लगा वो दूसरा थॉट ही नहीं आया मेरे wow. मुझे ऐसा लगा ऑस्ट्रम के बाहर डालेगा वो वहाँ से भागा मैं शफल हुआ ऑस्ट्रम के बाहर ही बॉल आई जो मैंने सोचा वही काम हो गया आई थिंक वो जो वॉज इट दो छक्के वाला जब जैन आया था मैसेज देने तो यू और फिर बिना मैसेज देने चला गया अच्छा वो तो मुझे तब पता ही नहीं था yeah. मुझे पता ही अभी चला है कि जयंत को मैसेज कुछ मैसेज लेके भेजा था yeah. मुझे तो पता ही नहीं था क्या yeah. अब साथ इतनी क्रिकेट खेले तो शायद जयंत भी समझ गया होगा वो चला गया अभी मुझे पता चला कि यार जयंत को हमने मैसेज लेके भिजवाया था yeah. पर वो तेरे को बिना तेरे को देख के कि उसको लगा तू उस जोन में तो वो बिना मैसेज दे बाहर आ गया मैंने कहा भाई That's great judgment ना हाँ, बिल्कुल like you are saying के दिमाग में कभी कभी ज्यादा थॉट भी आ जाए तो फिर खुद की कंफ्यूजन हो जाती है तो बंदा बचपन से जानता है उसका दिमाग अच्छा है वो 24 घंटे दिन में होते हैं मेरे हिसाब से 40 घंटे चलता है उसका दिमाग क्रिकेट में <laughs> हर टाइम क्रिकेट की कभी बात कर लो क्रिकेट मतलब वो लगा लो कि खून में बसी हुई है और कहीं पे लगा कि अरे ये तो पंजाब है इनको तो मैंने पहले भी किया हुआ <laughs> <laughs> नहीं भाजी हर गेम नया गेम होता है <laughs> और मतलब तो आप वो इनिंग देखो ना वो भी जो शारजा वाली इनिंग थी वो भी कैसे स्टार्ट हुई थी या बिल्कुल फंसे हुए थे फंसे फंसे पाजी बेजती हुई हुई थी यार फंसे क्या हुए थे मतलब कपड़े बिल्कुल ही उतर चुके थे उसके बाद तो कुछ बचा ही नहीं था ना कितने तेरह बॉल पे आठ ओ सत्रह बॉल पे आठ रन पे खेल रहा था या, या। मैं कोशिश कर रहा हूँ मार रहा हूँ फुल टॉस भी नहीं लग रही फिर वही कि मतलब थॉट्स तो ऑब्वियसली इतना थॉट भी आ गया था कि आई का तेरा लास्ट मैच है आई स्वेयर की मुझे उस टाइम ऐसा लग रहा था कि प्रेशर मैंने अपने ऊपर इतना ले लिया था कि यार अठारह बॉल सात आठ रन यार मतलब आई का लास्ट मैच भी हो सकता है दुनिया देखती है यार आई या yeah, बिल्कुल पर फिर मैंने कहा चल ठीक है इससे नीचे तो क्या ही लग सकता हूँ मैं yeah. फिर वो क्वार्टर वाला जो ओवर आया अब तो तीन ओवर में फिफ्टी वन रन चाहिए थे मुझे लगा था मारना ही मारना है यार पहला कनेक्ट हुआ मैंने कहा ठीक है दूसरा कनेक्ट हुआ थोड़ा कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ा अपने आप में तीसरा मारा मैंने कहा फिर रॉबिन उथप भाई खेल रहे थे सामने तो उन्होंने बोला इस ओवर में तो सारे ही मारेगा मैं भी अपना देसी जाट अपना बॉल वो डाले और अपना मिड विकेट वाला है ही पक्का तो वो बॉल डाले और मैं अपना मि
अब तक एक भी नहीं लगा था कहा चार लग गए पांचवी मार तो ज्यादा एक्साइटमेंट में चला गया डिड यू एवर रियलाइज की ठीक है सब एक्साइट होते हैं कि अच्छा छक्के लगे बाहर बाहर आए आप उसके बाद जो रिएक्शन हुआ लोगों का कि मतलब तेवतिया बिकेम लाइक अ वर्ब कि मतलब ये तो टर्म बन गया है हाँ जी कि अगर आप लास्ट में ऐसा कुछ कर रहे हैं और ऐसे छक्के मार के जिता रहे हैं तो यू हैव डन अ तेवतिया तो ये तो मतलब अल्टीमेट कॉम्प्लीमेंट है राइट <laughs> तो लोगों ने बोलना शुरू कर दिया कि जिस मैच में यूर नॉट इवन प्लेइंग को दो अलग टीमें खेल रही है हाँ उसमें भी किसी और प्लेयर ने मारा वो ही तेवतिया <laughs> कभी सोचा था ऐसा रिएक्शन आएगा नहीं बिल्कुल भी नहीं कभी मतलब दिमाग में ही नहीं था ये तो कभी भी क्योंकि उससे पहले भी तो कुछ किया ही नहीं था ना आई में बहुत ऑर्डनरी चल रहा था ऐसा कुछ एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डनरी कभी काम किया नहीं था जब मैच खत्म हुआ सारे बड़े सेलिब्रेट कर रहे पर मेरा वो जोन चल रहा था बिल्कुल कि वो कि हुआ क्या था ये मेरे को वो समझ नहीं आ रहा था एक्चुअली मैं खुद इमेजिन नहीं कर पा रहा था मेरे साथ हुआ क्या ये yeah. फिर बस में बैठ के आ रहे थे तो मयंक मारकंडे क्या था कि पाजी यार थोड़ी एक्साइटमेंट दिखाओ <laughs> मैंने कहा यार भाई मेरे को समझ नहीं आ रहा कि मैं रिएक्ट कैसे करूँ अभी yeah. <laughs> तो कहता कि जब मैं अपना पहला आई सीजन खेला था ना मुंबई के लिए जब वो खेला था तो उसने माही भाई रायडू भाई सबको आउट किया था तो वो कह रहा था कि मुझे भी समझ नहीं आया था क्या क्या कर क्या रहा हूँ मैं ये जब मैं अगले दिन सुबह सो के उठा था तब मुझे पता लगा मैंने कितनी बड़ी चीज़ कर दी अपने पहले मैच में तो कह रहा है आप जब कल सुबह उठोगे ना तब आपको रियलाइज होगा कि हाँ कि आपने nice. बहुत बड़ी चीज़ करी है नाइस nice. उसके बाद जब ऑप्शन आया राइट ये लास्ट ईयर वाला लास्ट ईयर वाला ऑप्शन जी के पहले और बिडिंग चली पहले तो जब नाम आया वही वॉचिंग इट नहीं मैं कभी ऑप्शन नहीं देखता एक बार मैंने अपना ऑप्शन देखा 2016 में अनसोल्ड ओ तो फिर जब ये वाला हुआ तो आप इसको लाइव नहीं देख रहे आपको नहीं, पता नहीं ये क्या हो रहा है तो कहाँ से खबर आई क्या आप कैसे पता चला कि ये बिडिंग वॉर शुरू हो गई तो खबर कैसे आई तो वाइफ साथ थी तो मैंने बोला कि देख उसको पहले ही बोला मैंने मैं ऑप्शन नहीं देखता हूँ और एक बार देखा है कैरी क्यों मैंने कहा एक बार देखा है मैंने और ये स्टोरी है कैरी कोई नहीं इस बार देखो इस बार मजा आएगा कैरी मैंने आज क्योंकि उसको क्रिकेट की नॉलेज नहीं थी बिल्कुल भी पहले उसने उससे पहले कभी मैच ही नहीं देखा था तो कैरी इस बार देखो मैं साथ हूँ मजा आएगा मैंने कहा यार तू रहने दे मतलब मुझे ये तो पता है अनसोल्ड नहीं जाऊँगा पर छोड़ फिर भी रहने दे नहीं देखते फिर जैसे मेरा ऑप्शन चल रहा था तो जब मेरा वो आया सोल्ड वाला तो सबसे पहले बीवी ने बोला इतने में तू इतने में गुजरात टाइटन्स में गया और मैंने कहा तुझे कैसे पता तो पाजी वो पूरा ऑप्शन छुप के अच्छा। उसने चला रखा था मतलब वो ब्लैंकेट में साइड में रखा हुआ मैं इधर लेटा हुआ था साइड में पूरा ऑप्शन चल रहा है उसका एयरपोर्ट लगाया हुआ एक इस कान दूसरे साइड वाला जो दिखे ना बाल कर रखे हैं सारे यहाँ अरे यार मतलब एयरपोर्ट दिख ही नहीं रहा मुझे घना षड्यंत्र अब आप देख सकते हो कि मतलब समझ ही नहीं कैसे पकड़ोगे यार टू गुड यार टू गुड तो, तो ऐसे पता चला तो फिर उसने बोला देखा मैंने बोला था ना इस बार देखेंगे तो मैं लकी हूँ टेंशन मतलब अभी जो जेंटलमैन आ रहे हैं इनके साथ तो पुरानी दोस्ती है हाँ 2017 में खेले किंग्स इलेवन में तीन टीमों में नहीं ये तीसरी टीम है हाँ ये हाँ तीन है दो हजार सत्रह में खेले फिर 2020 और 2021 राजस्थान रॉयल्स में या हाँ। तो ट्यूनिंग बढ़िया है अरे ऑफ द फील्ड ज्यादा बढ़िया है तो फिर तो अब तो भी ऑफ द फील्ड ही है तो बुला ही लेना चाहिए अंदर GK meets GT. We have uh, another guest joining us, and that is David Miller, who Rahul Tewatia has referred to by a lot of names, which cannot be taken in public. What are you busy talking about, <laughs> Rahul? About you? About me? Yeah. I hope could... about your names. I don't, I don't understand the language. So if you're saying something, then that's it what is I was. What it is. That's what I was asking. You understand him. I said, everything. I said you and David <laughs> are, are are great friends. So does he speak in Hindi or do you speak in English? So he says I speak in English, but I have taught Dave, uh, Davy three or four words in Hindi, hmm. and guess what those three or four words are? And everybody watching and listening to this immediately knew. Oh, yesterday in the dressing room only. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are, you are very beautiful. What? You are very beautiful. Okay, that's good actually. <laughs> that's 
That's something that can be said in public. And what's, the, what's the, the other one? No, I can't remember. <laughs> I got I got short term memory. <laughs> so you two, this this friendship goes back quite a few years, and this friendship, this brotherhood, this love has blossomed now at GT. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it has been. It's what six years now, six or seven years. Um, I don't know if I've been following him or he's been following me uh, with the different teams he's been going to, <laughs> but uh, it's been a it's been a good journey and uh, it's been good to see Raul uh, mature into the the player that he is. Uh, I don't know about off the field, but um, <laughs> most most certainly uh, on the field uh, he's come a uh, um, heaps and bounds. You know, um, it's been really cool to bat with him and be in the in the middle, um, win some games, lose some games. Um, and yeah, just really, really win more than it. lose. Well, I would like to think so, but uh, you're not going to win every game. But uh, yeah, we've definitely lost a few. Yeah, um, but we've won more, so it's been good. Which one for both of you has been the most for you has been the most special one when the two of you were out there at the end? Because there's been a few where the two mm. of you have been out there at the end. Well, for me, it was definitely the one against uh, Kings Eleven Punjab. Um, mm. I mean, we needed thirteen of three, and I happened to chunk one uh, straight back to the bowler and overthrows and I just I had the best seats in the house uh, he had two sixes in a row <laughs> and I tweeted also no after the yeah. game thanks for the single Milipa Milipa <laughs> this is the Milipa. Best, sing best single of the game yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that good fortune single happens that's lucky so I think at that stage it's more just affirmation yeah. isn't it you know come on fist pump you can do this uh, you know, just watch the ball, do, you know, stick to your plans or whatever it is. And same thing I told you. Yeah, I exactly. Told you this. Yeah, exactly the same. If this was a game show, you both would have won a million dollars. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I mean, he obviously was watching the game, you know, the balls leading up to that. And Odin was bowling wide. A lot of the guys were bowling wide. So his, his uh, I mean, it's either the lap or over <laughs> wherever you hit it. Um, so he kind of stepped across and and hit it over Kyle Corner and... Um, the last ball stepped even further across. Yeah, yeah. So kind of had his plans. And, and that's what I've really enjoyed about Raul over the last couple of years. Um, he's a good thinker of the game. Um, he he really goes about his business in a in a mature way. And, you know, there's not just, oh, okay, well, Raul's won the game. Like there's a lot of thought behind it. Um, and yeah, I mean, that just proves a lot of uh, a lot of things, you know, in that particular game uh, with with his plans. There's, this team is so interesting because it's full of characters, right? Is this one of the most interesting mixes? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it really is. That's the joys of playing in teams, isn't it? Uh, everyone's so different, but uh, I just think the environment's very relaxed, very you know easygoing. We train really hard, yeah. um, you know, regardless of the result. And I think we've we've been a team that's found a way to win. Yeah. Also, in in winning, you know, getting doing well in 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 competitions is you need contributions throughout from yeah. different guys at different stages. You're always going to have guys that are performing consistently through, but you always need guys that are doing small little moments of brilliance throughout. It's so interesting you say that because that brings me to well two points which I thought were just great about the first season with GT. One was almost everybody had their best season yet in the IPL, right? Almost everybody had their, their, their peak season. Everybody lifted their game up uh, a notch. Not, and, so, not, not peak season just yet. <laughs> yeah. I'm so, joking. No, no, no yeah. I'm joking. But you're right. <laughs> it'll, happen, it'll happen even yeah. more, right? But till then, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody took it up a notch, uh, in fairness, uh, from what they had seen in the previous seasons. And secondly there was a different guy putting their hand up in every match, right? As the lead player and some good supporting players around. So two things. So talk to me about the first one first. Because for you as well, you'd had a few lean seasons, right? And suddenly something happens here. So that's what I'm interested to know, kind of almost psychologically. Does something happen uh, around you in the surroundings with unlocks a level? Have you ever thought about this? Of, of why this year was so much better maybe than the few years preceding it? Uh, it's quite a deep question, but I think uh, I don't like to get too deep about things in yeah. the sense. But I think environment is a really big, uh, you know, um, key role in, in in those kind of things and in creating um, sort of a secure 
uh, environment. Great work. Uh, a lot of yeah. a lot of like trust in 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 what we're about. Um, and I mean, I'm not going to say certain teams, but a lot of teams around the world that you know chop and change or whatever whatever it is. Um, you know, businesses if you're constantly chopping and changing um, within. You're creating a an insecure environment, I believe. So, just to create secure security is giving us at least a bit of a, a bit of a run. Um, having your your core group, and then through that, I mean, you can't you can't chop and change every game. And you know, one guy comes in and you expect him to do well after one game. It's just you know he can do that, but you need to give guys runs. It's not a vending machine. So yeah. I think that, I think giving guys runs is is really key. Um, you look at the very successful franchises that have won a lot of, you know, they've got squads that you, that sometimes doesn't even change eleven after after half the season, more than half the season. So um, I think that's that's really big, and that's what we had last season where there was kind of like tactical changes or or condition changes, um, but not necessarily like form change. If that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, it does. You see that, right? It's evident. You see it from outside as well because. You're watching every game and you're saying, "Oh, they're not changing their eleven, yeah. or they've, you know, teams." You're so right. Successful teams will play their entire season with thirteen or fourteen players, right? Unless there's a forced change or an injury. Was that a conversation that happened with you? I'm sure it was a conversation that happened with you with the coach or or captain or something where you were told, "Hey, we're going to give you a long run." Can you tell us about that? Like what that conversation was? Yeah, uh, Gary. Kirsten and I, uh, we, we go back years um, from now. So bef- prior to the the RPL, he phoned me up and he just, I mean, he's very close with Ashish and uh, and he just mentioned that they've had a lot of discussions about the squad and, you know, just saying we're looking forward to having you um, and you're going to be our man, like our batsman. Nice. We, we, we're going to give you, you know, a, a really good crack at this RPL in terms of games-wise. So just, you know, mentally prepare around the fact that you're going to be in the team yeah. um, for an extended run. Nice. Um, and that was probably three weeks before the competition. I mean, I was playing games at that stage for South Africa. So it gives you enough time to kind of just wrap your head around that and, you know, don't necessarily come in and just, you know, there's always pressure wherever you play, but yeah. it really does make a, a big difference when there's when there's that kind of security. So nice. So you've had three weeks to kind of prepare. And then you come here and you realize your old pal is here as well. But you're like, all right, it's no pressure, man. We two got this. Yeah, yeah. We're Iceman and Maverick from Top Gun. We already spoke, no. Get this done. Yeah. While auction was going on. Yeah. Oh, you guys spoke during the auction. You, you, you remember that first message you sent me? Yeah. Who what got picked that? first? Who, who's, your, did your name come first or your name came yeah, first? Yeah, you got picked first. Okay. I didn't get picked up in the first auction. And what was your message? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're playing again. What? What did no. I say? We we together. When, We're gonna take him down. When you went unsold, though, he was oh, yeah, unsold. Yeah. His first message was, "IPL is over for me." I was like, "No way! Your name will come again." And and then second message, bro, same team. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Same team again. <laughs> nice. So I was really happy for him that uh, we are playing in the same team again. But I can understand you thinking that way because it can be a little nerve wracking, right? Because there's ten teams over there, and your name goes by the first time. That. That can be quite a mood killer, man. Mm. Mm. It can be a real dampener. I mean, yeah. mood killer on the top, but it, you're you're right. It can really kind of affect you inside. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, uh, I feel like I've played a lot of years now, and um, internationally, I, I feel like I've established myself in a in a certain way. But you know, RPL, I just feel like is is kind of. I just never really felt where you know where I belonged. Um, yeah. I did really well for a period of four years, and I had one bad season. And since that bad season, I mean, since then, I've actually done pretty decently, but yeah. just hadn't had enough opportunity. Yeah. So it was just that one real bad season that I had that I, f- I kind of felt that pushed me back three, four years, five years um, of not really getting picked and backed. Yeah. Um, probably more so against playing spin. I, I, I definitely think it is um, the closest to international uh, above any other league or tournament. Um so it kind of preps you for, you know, a lot of on and off the field pressures. So you kind of got to deal with that. Yeah, you you were, I, I'd read somewhere that your dad had this prophecy when you were two years old that you're going to play for South Africa. Is that a rumor or is that is that true? Uh, 
I mean, I, you I, were too young to remember. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that conversation we had <laughs> when I was two. Um, no, um, no. I, I, I mean, I mean, we are a sports family. Uh, come from various different sports, and uh, you know, my dad just as at a young age. I've got a younger brother, and we would obviously play. Uh, soccer, rugby, cricket, tennis, whatever it is, you know, there's always a ball in the house. And um, so you're kind of starting from a young age and my dad would kind of roll the ball to me in the passage and, you know, just pick up the bat and like smack the ball or whatever. And you know, he said to my mom, like, this kid's going to play for South Africa. But I mean, that was just, you know, just being a proud dad with his mother, I mean, with his wife yeah. and just chatting away. But yeah, I don't think that's... Uh, Imagine two years old Davy smacking the ball, huh? <laughs> I can imagine it. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine him doing that. Tell me your impressions of Hardik as a captain. Go I've, through the I've really enjoyed him. Eh? I must be honest. I uh, I've obviously played a lot against him, um, and you kind of get this like big ego kind of guy playing against him. Um, I've always enjoyed the way he goes about his his. He, he looks like he loves the game. Um, he gives us hundred percent. Um, and I mean, he wears his jewelry. He's he is who he is, you know. So um, I kind of you kind of have a sort of expectation of how someone would be. Um, but moving into GT uh, with him being captain last year was was incredible. I think he's very humble. Um, he's got a lot of time for his teammates. Uh, he's a good team player. Um, and I think a lot of people don't necessarily see that. I mean, the, you know, the, the fans and, you know, just the people, the general public, um, they don't know what happens in the team room and in the change room yeah. and what he see, what he says, I believe he's, uh, he's a natural leader. Um, you know, what he does, people want to do as well. Yeah. Um, he's that kind of person. Um, so in terms of leading, I think he just acts like a leader. And then, yeah, just great, um, great team man. So I really enjoyed the way he goes about it. And, you know, when he's upbeat and he's he wants to, you know, take things down and his energy is a lot more higher, then it just naturally lifts the whole team. So Yeah, do you, do you remember any conversation or anything you had with him? Because you're, you're so right. The first, there is always a conversation you have with Hardik or something you see him doing that breaks the impression that you have in your head about him because everybody does it. everybody who's watching everybody sees Hardik and in India unfortunately when you have somebody who's larger than life they are judged as not serious or pompous or ego right they're judged a little bit and then when you speak to the guy you hang out with him or you see him operating you're like no, no man my I, I don't think my assessment was correct mm. right do you do you kind of Remember any incident or something that stood out which made you believe what you believe now? The impact that his family have made in his life, the sacrifices his family's made, um, you know, for him to be in that position um, and just the upbringing that he had um, kind of just puts things in perspective. You know, like he, he still is very grounded. Um, he's larger than life, but yet he knows his roots and he's got a lot of time for his family. He'll always, you know, be there for them. Uh, and to me, you know, that resonated because I, I'm a family guy and yeah. I love family and, and close friends because I, f I believe that's what life is all about, those relationships and connections you have. Yeah. So when someone has that kind of um, connection with their family, yeah, it, it's kind of hits home for me. Yeah. This, uh, this coaching staff's pretty interesting as well, right? It's a good mix. I mean, you know Gary from before, but you didn't know any of the other guys from before. Yeah, um, Gary, like I said, um, we've gone back a long way. So probably 10 years now I've known him. Um, and it's weird. I was telling someone about it the other day that um, pretty much, I'm just trying to think the age. I was, I was, I don't think I was 10. I, I might have been nine. And um, I was watching Test Match Australia versus South Africa at Kingsmead. And he was opening the batting, obviously. And I mean, the bowlers were bowling. It's, it looked like it was 200 kilometers an hour um, at his head. And he was kind of ducking and weaving and getting hit. And I was just watching on the bank, just thinking this is absolutely extraordinary. Like, I just cannot believe how these guys see the ball, um, how they do what they do. And kind of just watching what Gary, what Gary does. Um, fast forward. Um, 
15 years down the line. Uh, he's my head coach for the for the pro tiers. Um, and now I had a significant influence in my career um, as a coach. You know, you, you don't kind of see how that's all going to pan out. So um, just been really cool to have had the connection that I have with him and the journey that we've gone on. And yeah, just enjoyed the, the you know, getting to know Ash. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's a chilled out, laid back kind of cool guy. Um, and at the same time, really wants to work hard and wants to win. So I think it's a great combination. Uh, management have been superb. Is Ashi, is like you said, laid back. Is he the most, and this is a contradiction in, in terms, right? Is he the most hyper laid back guy you've ever met? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Isn't it true? He's the most hyper relaxed guy. Yes. <laughs> in the um, world. Super chilled. Just wants to play golf. Wants to rest. Wants to have one or two beers. Wants to be with all the guys. And, he, and you know, credit to him. He he, went, he connects with a lot of the guys, the younger guys, the senior guys. Um, and then during the games is actually quite interesting. You know, I field every now and again at long off or long on and it's close <laughs> to the dugout. And I mean, he's coming to me every ball saying, like David, 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 we need to do this. We need to do that. We need to do this. We need to do that. And I'm just going like, Ash, I just want to watch a ball. Yeah. If <laughs> the ball comes here, I'm thinking of like 10 different things that I need to tell Hardik. And um, yeah, I tell Hardik one thing and I'm like, she I don't know if that's the right thing, whatever. But like, it literally is just, I, I think, you know, he, he finds that like, I mean, I'm a senior player in, yeah. in whatever role and, and he, he can tell me that. So it's cool, but it's just like it's a lot. I of think it's the pressure that that obviously is just natural. Yeah, um, and he wants to win. Um, yet, very uh, kind of trusting. I think one of those days as a prank, you should just take out a pad from your pocket and say, "Yes, what all do I have to tell you all?" Well, Tebu, go ball hard length dal. Kahan katorio pe aa raha hai? Hard length dal. <laughs> I love his favorite he's, word. He's almost yeah, hard length. He loves hard length. He says that on air also quite a lot. Uh-huh. Uh, he, is he? He's almost like a football coach in a cricket world, <laughs> mm. right? He's like that. He just doesn't have a suit. <laughs> I, that's. I, I don't think. I don't even think he has one. So I've known him for so many years. <laughs> yeah. He'll go to a wedding in shorts. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He'll go to court in shorts and probably get arrested for it. Uh, but I, I have to say, in one. I had such a laugh with Virinder Sevag because it cut to uh, Ashish talking to Devi uh, at Long On. And then the next ball was hit up and you went running in and you caught the catch. And I said, and I told the boys in the studio, I said, you know how you got there so fast, right? So I said, oh. He said, because as soon as the ball went, before you could start running, Ashu pushed it. <laughs> yeah. Go! Gave me a head start. <laughs> it's like it was a little rocket fuel. Uh, yeah. So he went flying like that. <laughs> Spot <laughs> he, on. He really did. For both of you, all right, now I want to ask you before we wrap up, this, this partnership, right? Do you, what do you guys talk to each other when in the end, three sixes required, four sixes required, 40 required or 15 balls? What do you guys talk to each other? What does he say? You tell me what he says and I'll ask him what you say. What does he say? Does he sing songs? Does he just, what, does he get wound up? Is he relaxed? How is he? No, he's relaxed. He, uh, he always tells me to step across into the offside because they always bow out to me. <laughs> Oh, yesterday I also I told you. <laughs> yeah. So first ball, Sandeep Sharma was bowling to him. First ball, it was wide, out, outside off stump Yorker. I told him, <laughs> stand on off, stand on off stump. Yeah. Move Next more ball, four. <laughs> Over extra covers. Next ball, third one, four. <laughs> like yeah, I'm doing that. That's local knowledge, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, he's my batting coach. So um, <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's. I think it's uh, it's a lot about uh, we spoke about the other day trust and um, bringing that calmness to 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 one's game. Um, you know, we've we've been fortunate to have won quite a few games together. So you you build that trust through that process, and you know that you can you believe that you can do it as a as a pair. Um, so yeah, it's constantly trying to work out like who still has to, excuse me, who still has to bowl, um, who can we target, the short boundary, the you know if it's a fast bowler, the spinner, like whatever, and we're kind of communicating through that, um, and just backing each other. In if he says something, I'm gonna be like, 
you go boy yeah. and vice versa so i think it's that that good connection and um relationship that we have but more so like i, I feel like that is obviously through winning games you you build that trust and and confidence but at training is big because we talk about it a lot of the time at training um you know talking about the opposition that the game's coming up who you know if we haven't done too well if we have done well the previous game we kind of talk about it so we're constantly talking about it during training and and the game mm. and what does what does davy say when you guys are in the middle so i remember last year's game against rcb so one over uh, josh hazelwood was bowling i faced the first ball i pulled him so i uh, i saw that gap between mid wicket and deep square leg so i i pulled it straight to square leg i told david also now he's he's going to bowl those off cutters into the pitch only and that gap is too big you can hit it there next ball david hit it in the gap and four so yeah batting coach yeah not Literally. batting coach i mean i missed that ball i yeah. missed that ball and i was like if he's going to bowl the same ball to david so uh i told him that there is a big gap i missed that ball just try and hit there next ball david perfectly hit there for, for four so yeah that that understanding and that trust and yeah that's what david said that's that's totally on point is but is there let me just my last question to the two of you is there even this great friendship is there also competition between the two of you do you talk about that sometimes no 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 not at all not even healthy not even like i'll hit a longer six than you no no i know he can hit longer than me <laughs> there is no competition about that i was about to say there's no competition with yeah. that cuz i know that i can he knows that i can hit longer than me uh, yeah nice. I, i know that yeah <laughs> he's a lot more craftier than me so we got different we got different strengths yeah he's got his little <laughs> exactly he's very so, crafty with that so we, we stick to that only yeah. we are happy for each other he always tells me six is a six if it goes 120 meters or if it goes 82 meters yeah, it's I always, six always is a six. six is a six you will get six runs for that If it's 110 meters or 80 meters. Davy, isn't that a is that's a dialogue said by a person who hits a shorter six than you, right? Yeah, but we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll go with that. We'll go with that. It's all about confidence, yeah, Errol. <laughs> I'll take that. He, he hits more than me. Davy, thank you so much uh, for talking to us. Thank you so much for holding onto the mic while it was falling off. Uh, I think that contribution to this podcast perhaps has been even more than the insights. <laughs> yeah, I was going to go to gym but now I'm done because like, my my arm is all flexed. I should have given you two then, right? <laughs> <laughs> I should have given you two mics. Yeah. <laughs> Rahul as well. Thank you so much. That was David Miller and Rahul Tevatia on the GK Meets GT podcast and uh, I'm sure that we're going to see the two of them finish many many more matches like that for the Titans. And I hope you guys do. I like your sixes. If fun 80 meters or 100 doesn't matter 100% 6 is a 6 Dance dance oh